Well, we're about to turn over 40,000 miles on this car. So that will be over 100,000 all electric miles. About 105,000 all electric miles that I've put on these cars. Because I originally had a 2012 um, Nissan Leaf. I put 65,000 miles on it before a lady rear-ended me totaling it. And then I bought this car with 4,000 miles on it. And it now has 40,000 miles on it. So I got 105,000 all electric miles. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna see it turn over. Will it be before or after I get on Interstate 40? Probably just before. There it is, 40,000 miles. So that's 105,000 all electric miles, pretty cool. All right, so tonight's score, 10 dozen eggs, 50 cents a dozen. I wanted to buy 20 dozen, but I don't know if I can store 20 dozen, so I only got 10. We also got some Philadelphia cream cheese for buck 29. Not a tremendously great deal, but not a bad deal, most likely because they're all dented. So, strawberry whipped cream. It was a buck fifty, so I said hell with it. <laughs> and we grabbed it. Um, four bucks a pound for some honey roasted turkey breast. That's actually a, for around here, that's a very good deal. Buck ninety nine for the tapioca. Michelle likes tapioca. I was missing one, so that's probably why it was on sale. These are just treats that we like. Uh, it's, it's basically just cheese wrapped in pepperoni. These are also halfway decent. They, they just they, they taste yummy. They come in a glass jar. It was on the clearance rack. This is a good deal. Fake bacon bits, 79 cents. And these are about twice the size of the dollar store bacon bits, which is these little suckers right here. So you can see that is, what is that? 1.87 ounces, while this is 3.25 ounces. So almost double the amount for 20 cents less. Hell yeah. And again, these aren't the greatest deal, but they're not a bad deal. Some Sargento aged white cheddar and some savory cheddar for four dollars a pound. It's half a pound, so that's four dollars a pound. But around here, four dollars a pound is actually pretty good for specialty cheese. So we grabbed it, and that's our little haul tonight. I also got the freezers going. Let me show you that. So I got this one. This is actually a duplicate of the freezer I already have. I have the same one out there, and um, it's set up in my bedroom for now. Came in a little razor underneath it. it even came with some food we got two bags of brussels broth we already ate one and two bags of corn so i got that freezer and then here's the big boy it's a kenmore and i'm printing a replacement knob for it but this is 7.1 cubic feet so this one's getting filled i already ordered another box of hamburger i got 10 more pounds of chicken i ordered more veggies so we're going to load up on veggies I got Michelle's cheese dogs. Yeah, this one will hold a lot. So let's see if that knob fits. Uh, I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. I think that hole is a little bit too small, but also there's tape wrapped around that, and I gotta get that tape off. He tried to tape the old one on. So I gotta take that tape off and see if I can make it fit, but that'll be the new knob. So that should work once I get that tape off. And there it is. I got my knob. Took a Sharpie to the end of it so you can see the arrow point. And now I can use the freezer. And looks like this fits all the Kenmore freezers. I have three Kenmore freezers and it fits all three. Well, I thawed the frozen eggs and there has definitely been a chemical change. Because now instead of being that bright sulfur yellow, they're like an orange color. So we're going to see how they cook up. And by the way, I bought 12 dozen more eggs. <laughs> Well, they did cook. I was a little bit worried because when I put them in the pan, it was very much watery and it had a translucent orange color. Did not look like scrambled eggs. But as they cooked, they became eggs again. I'm pretty sure eggs are long polymer chains and I just long protein polymer chains and I suspect those get broken down when you freeze it. That's why it becomes watery. And change the color um, but 
it seemed to cook up okay, and it tastes okay. I'm not sensing a rubberiness, although I might if I were tasting fresh next to this, but tasting this blind by itself, it tastes okay. Way too salty. I can't do that again, so I gotta try to do it without salt, because that just is, it's very, very salty. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do it again without salt, see how that goes. It should definitely be okay for baking. I like the way the one lady did it with, um, she froze them into pucks, single egg pucks, and then popped them out and put them back in the freezer again. So kind of like meatballs, except egg ball. So you just grab as many as you need out of the frozen freezer bag for whatever recipe you're working on. So for things like um, pancakes, I think it'll work. I think for waffles it'll work. I think for French toast it'll work. I will be experimenting that and we shall see how it comes out. Right now, I'm not wasting six eggs, so I'm going to scarf this down, salty or not. That's a lot of eggs. I already had 60 eggs because I bought a 60 pack from Walmart before I saw this sale. So today I bought a dozen dozen and yesterday I bought 10 dozen. So that's um, that's 144. That's another 120. <laughs> that's at 266 eggs plus the 60 I already got. That's um, 332 eggs. Something like that. Yeah. So I got a lot of freaking eggs. I could fit at least a hundred. And I went, um, three, six, nine. I already got 180 in the fridge. I got 144 here. I could probably fit another, uh, maybe 40 in the fridge. So I'm going to be freezing up a bunch of it. Um, I already tested it. It does work. It does change it. I'm guessing because um, long chain polymer breaks down when you freeze it or something like that. But it does work. Get off the table. Get off the table. <laughs> but um, I will be seeing what I can do about preserving as much as I can. Why do I buy some money? 50 cents a dozen. Um, yeah, you're looking at $11. And they also had these for $1.79. So I grabbed them, but it looks like they were both damaged. And that's why they had them on clearance. So that's um, Kansas City... Seasoning rub sweet and smoky. So yeah, I always like having seasoning handy. So yeah, very cool So I'm gonna try my hand at making rice pudding using instant rice because I love rice pudding I'm gonna do a double dose. So that is six cups of whole milk and that is a half a cup of sugar And approximately half a teaspoon of salt That should be about right and then half a cup of raisins. This is all double because I'm making a big batch. If you want to make less, use half. And now we add two cups of rice. And the two cups of rice. This then gets boiled and stirred on the pan while we beat the eggs with the vanilla. Put that mixture on the heat and then we begin with the eggs and the vanilla. The eggs are ready and my kitty assistant is here. <laughs> Tempered the eggs before tossing it in with the rest. Cook it on low. Yeah, um, I stopped watching it for a half a second to put something in the microwave and the, the milk frothed up all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, don't stop watching it. <laughs> there you go. Rice pudding is done, it's not bad. I ended up doubling the amount of sugar. I also added about 25% more milk because it was too dry in my opinion. I like more liquidy rice pudding. And next time I will double the number of raisins. Otherwise, not bad. Well, I finally learned how to cook chicken. First things first, the most important ingredient is butter. You really just have to cook it in butter. But you need your tongs for flipping. You need your masher to beat the living shit out of it. Because you got to beat the living crap out of it until it's all the same thickness. That's the magic trick. And then, of course, your thermometer. You keep poking it until it says 165. When it says 165, you take it off. And then you take the leftover butter in the pan and use that to finish off your veggies. Oh yeah. There we go, dinner's done. Fried chicken, instant rice, butter, and the veggies. Of course I saw I tossed the veggies in with the leftover butter from cooking the chicken. I'm probably not going to buy these veggies again. This is a mix of broccoli and cauliflower. We noticed it comes with a bunch of stem pieces. While the nicer bags come with um, all florets. So instead what I'll do is I'll buy a bag of florets and a bag of cauliflower and mix them together. 
as well get a better quality veggie mix for the same price. But otherwise, yum, yum, yum. These are pretty good too. They're like treats. They're a little expensive. They're 50 cents a piece. You know, and you're only getting 17 ounces. That's not exactly cheap. Um, it's not crazy expensive, but not cheap either. But it's pretty delicious. And I got new teas. Mmm, this is supposed to be two different flavors. They sent me two of the same one, so I'll have to look into that. But ginger peach chocolate truffle, blood orange cinnamon, and cranberry blood orange. So that'll be interesting to try that.